We love traveling, but the hardest part for us has always been leaving our two dogs, Chloe and Coco Chanel, behind. When we're not on vacation, we are with our girls 24 7. So for our big vacation this year, we wanted to do something we've never done before, like take a vacation the whole family will enjoy, including our dogs. So we packed the whole gang in our truck and we're headed south to the Outer Banks, North Carolina, home of pet-friendly beaches, restaurants, and rental homes. car ride you've ever done. Hmm? Yeah. I know. You're so confused. So why did we pack up all my stuff and put it in the truck? My dog food, my dog bowls, my toys. Am I being kicked out? <laughs> awake. Why don't you lay back down? You're being so good. We are nearing the end of our journey, our road trip. Chloe, how do you feel about this long road trip? Not a fan? How do you feel about the road trip? It's a bit bad. No? Mm -hmm. Just some smelly dogs. Yeah. Coco's really enjoying herself. Is it time for lunch, girls? Huh? What are you gonna have for lunch? You gonna have some tacos, guacamole? Yeah. We just finished our lunch at Corolla Cantina. We got takeout and actually had like a little picnic at Historic Corolla Park by the Whale Head Club. They had picnic tables in a nice shady area. We are having a picnic in historic Corolla Park. Got the Whale Head Club around here. Very nice. Three shrimp tacos. Got shrimp, pico de gallo, coconut rice, beans, slaw. Got an aioli here, guac, and chips. It was really good. And now we are headed up to the 4x4 beach, but first we had to stop and take some air out of our tires because your uh, PSI for each tire needs to be between like 15 and 20% to uh, drive on the sand. Not percent. PSI. PSI. What does PSI stand for? Percentage square inches. <laughs> sort of. We got close. What does it stand for? Pounds per square inch? There you go. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Learn something new every day. So now we're gonna drive up the 4x4 beach. Hopefully there won't be a lot of people up there and we can get the dogs in the water. It's really sunny, so Chloe's having a hard time with the heat. Even in our shady picnic spot, she was really hot. We had some water, but I think getting them in the ocean and cooling them off will be a nice treat. So let's head to the 4x4 beach. Do you know where you're going? Uh-uh. Probably sort of. It, it's right up here. I'm gonna go to the beach. You've been to the beach before. You were only a few weeks old. Welcome to the four-wheel drive beach of Corova, the northernmost point in the Outer Banks, North Carolina. 
You may have heard of more popular towns in the Outer Banks, such as Kitty Hawk, Hill Devil Hills, Duck, or Nags Head. However, stretching over 10 miles long, the Golden Beaches and Wild Horses of Karova are not to be missed and definitely worth the trip a little further north. Forget people watching, observing these beautiful creatures in their natural habitat is truly incredible. And for us, the best part of a day in Karova is when the wild horses of Karola decide to pay you a visit. Wild horses of Karola. Coco sees them, you see them? They're crossing. It's a horsey. tried our hardest to keep her from doing that but she's used to being at home and drinking like lake water or you know whatever so they're both really pooped right now which is good we got two tired dogs and Jared's taking the drone up to get some good shots If you plan a visit to Karova, a four-wheel drive vehicle is a must in order to drive on the four-wheel drive beaches. There are no paved roads and only sand. Tire pressure should also be deflated prior to driving on the sand. And the best part is pets are permitted throughout the entirety of the beaches in the Outer Banks and especially in Karova. We'll be back. Go lay down. Go sleep. Take a nap. Mommy and Daddy come back. Keep good girls. We'll be back. For dinner tonight, we ordered a boil from the Outer Banks Boil Company. We are staying in Buck Island and the Outer Banks Boil Company has a location in Corolla across in Timbuktu Shopping Center. There's a couple different locations throughout the Outer Banks but we're picking ours up just down the road here at Timbuktu. We got the Ben Franklin, so lots of seafood. Very excited to try that. Probably the thing I've been looking forward to most is a boy. 
oil because I've never done that before. But we're also gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some things that we weren't able to bring down with us. And, uh, <laughs> and also some other things that we just, you know, kind of took inventory at the house and there weren't any of those there. So let's go check it out. Seasoning cocktail sauce. Ooh, what is it? Ooh. We got two lobster tails, snow crab legs, clams. There should be some. Yeah, so there's some corn on the cob down in there. There's supposed to be potatoes and sausages, but I don't know where all that is. I guess it's in there. We'll find out. Pour two cups of liquid water, beer, white wine, any combination over contents of pot, place lid, and place the lid and place on the sofa so it's hot. Alright, we pot. Tonight's dinner is from the Outer Banks Boil Company, and we have ordered the Ben Franklin pot. Lobster, crab legs, clams, all kinds of goodies. Okay, our table is ready for all of the other people that are coming. Well, one of our participants has already passed out. Yes, yes she has. You have already passed out, haven't you, Chloe? Oh, sweet, sweet puppy. I'm so sweet. Why aren't you tired? Coco, how comes you're not tired? You did the same amount of activity. That's true, she slept the whole way here. We are gonna make some garlic bread. We are making our boil. What are you gonna put in now? Butter? Mmm. This was not recommended, but we added it seems like a good idea. Yeah. You made us a beautiful dinner. I slaved all day on this. He really didn't. Not a thing. I got us here, that's about it. Yeah, he drove us eight hours here, but... It wasn't eight hours. It was six. It really wasn't bad. I mean, no, it wasn't a bad drive, but... This looks mighty tasty. I cannot wait to get into this. Mm. Our boil is complete. And it is time to eat. I didn't even try that. <laughs> so fancy. So Let's fancy. Yeah, let's mix it up. Let's see what's in there. Lobster tails, clams. Yeah, clams are open. Crabbies. Dark side of the outer banks. Yeah. Just don't let me grab that wood very much. So 